OMB Warehouse presents the Gray Goat Garage. Welcome back to OMB Warehouse at home of the Gray Goat Garage. Today we're going to put uh, show you how to hook up a fuel pump for uh, any small engine. It doesn't have to be a Predator. It can be whatever you want. Um, we're going to work with overhead valve engines because those are most common today. Um, I've got a Hemi Predator here that when I um, put the billet flywheel, billet rod, and rowdy cam in it, I went ahead and tapped the top of the block 1 8 NPT so I could put a fitting in it. Um, that will allow me to run a pulse off, directly off the crankcase and um, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Th this is uh, a very simple item and uh, it's beautiful in its simplicity. In the top of this fuel pump there's a bladder and this hooks up to a pulse port on your engine. When your piston goes down in the cylinder it creates positive pressure in the crankcase. When it comes back up it creates a negative pressure. That's what we call the pulse. So you hook this pulse line up to the engine and this the internal bladder will, will pump fuel through a system of valves here in the bottom of the pump so it's going to pull fuel in from the parallel port on this pump so here's here's your pulse here's the parallel port that's the intake and that's going to push fuel out in, into your carburetor so the biggest problem that most guys have with this is these are all quarter inch lines i don't know of anything that has a 3 16 line on it the predator engines they all take a 3 16 line to the carburetor not not just the 212s but the the 301s and the 420s they all use 3 16 inch line into the carburetor so that that is kind of restrictive but th that's what we have to deal with so we'll uh, we'll work on that when you're mounting this pump i always like to keep this facing down so as your oil as your engine is, is going, it's splashing oil and it's creating a very fine mist of oil into the engine. If you were to run your pump down on the bottom side here, this line's going to fill up with oil and mist and it's going to fill up your pump with oil and then oil will start coming out of this little uh, brass breather here. So I like to mount my pumps up higher so this way uh, there, there will be some oil mist in the line but it has the opportunity to drain back. So you know I have a simple mount here. And if I mounted this here, I could hook up the hose to the pump, get this mounted on the bracket, and you'll see that it's coming up and over. So this way I have every opportunity to make sure that I'm not going to have oil stuck in this line and purging itself out that breather hole. So there's a couple different ways that we can do this. Um, you get a real good pulse coming off the block here. But if you had a governed engine, that's not really an option. So let me show you a couple other options. I have a Hemi valve cover here, and I, I drilled a hole and tapped a little bit crooked. Um, but I, I, it's at the top of the valve cover, so it would mount like this on this engine. And we could orient this however we want it to. Maybe have it come over the, the side like this and away from the spark plug. But it's important that this goes at the top of the valve cover and not the bottom. We don't want oil to accumulate in that line. So like I mentioned with the other line, it's good to have the pump above this. So I could take my fuel pump with this scenario and mount the fuel pump in this orientation and get my line over there. And that would be fine because I'm allowing the oil to drain back and I've got enough line to allow that to happen. So if you're going to drill your valve cover on a Hemi Predator, so many people want to go off to the side of that little cast piece right there. I don't care about that. I'd rather have it directly in the center and catch a little extra metal with your uh, fitting. And that will allow it to be more solid long term. I don't know. This is fairly thin material right here. And uh, especially if you had a steel fitting like this and you tighten it down, it will crack your valve cover. So let's uh, go right down the center. Use brass if you have that opportunity. On the non hemi engines, the clones, the GX200s, um, you can go right in the valve cover with it. And there's an important part. When you're drilling this hole here, make sure you stay out 
of where this internal baffle is because this is the internal breather and when there's pressure on this, this little valve here will open up and allow pressure to escape the engine. We don't want that, we don't want you to run directly from here for a pulse pump just because this is a one-way valve. So by drilling in here, down far enough close to the flange where that can get a good pulse, you can run your pulse right off the valve cover as well. So uh, a lot of the billet parts will have the pulse on the side cover, on the billet side covers, but that's not really necessary. Um, I, I've used the side cover. It's a little tougher to drill and tap that, but it's, it's easy, easy to do. And just anywhere where you can get into the crankcase, you're, not, you're above oil level and you can get a good pulse that will run the pump just fine. These are real simple to install. You just kind of have to wrap your head around it first. But um, once you get it done, you'll have plenty of fuel. When I'm adapting from quarter inch line, we have an adapter that goes from quarter to 3 16 But I, I like to have filters on all my stuff. So there's this little Kohler filter that we sell that has both barbs on it. It has 3 16 and quarter inch. So this way I can go quarter inch into my pump and out of my pump I'm coming quarter inch into this filter and then I can put this filter in the 3 16 line so that, that allows me to have a, a, a filtered fuel system it adapts the, the fuel lines down from the quarter to the 3 16 and allows this to uh, work well and uh, gets rid of a lot of the issues that you're going to run across so th think about running an inline filter that has the adapter built in instead of just an adapter and that way you're not going to have any junk get into your carburetor Thanks for stopping by OMB Warehouse and the Grego Garage. Remember, if you have any questions, help at ombwarehouse.com. Send me an email. I get back to everybody, and uh, I'd love to help you out if you have any questions. Also, don't forget, visit us online, oldminibikes.com. That's where all the crazy guys and gals hang out uh, with uh, mini bikes. A lot of projects going on right now, so check it out. Thank you. The Grego Garage is powered by OMB Warehouse. Check us out at ombwarehouse.com.